And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. Representing Damage Control from San Jose, California. Bailey! Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing. They've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Kai, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. Time to wake up because you can't sleep on Wendy Chu. Well, it's easy to discount her in her napping ways, but trust me, Chu is the real deal. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Yeah. Uh, Wendy Chu doesn't want to hide her uniqueness, so she chooses to embrace it. to learn very quickly is this woman uh, how difficult it is to contain damage control. Difficult Cole, that might be the understatement of the year. It's practically impossible. Over the years we've watched Bailey develop one of the most vicious mean streaks of all time. In or out of the ring, she shows absolutely no concern or pity for her enemies. Well, Bailey is always going to take any chance she gets to pour on the punishment. You know, I hate to say it, but that meanness has proven very effective for her. You're not wrong. A willingness to inflict real damage on. Uh oh, the forearm gonna cut off the wind. She has gotta somehow find a way out right now, and she does. Takedown, and now punches right. Ooh. Oh, a flurry of strikes. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a jumping arm breaker. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. She makes the cover. She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Oh, and she turns it around. Wendy finding a way to slow her opponent's assault down. Wendy showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Nobody really saw Wendy Chu coming, but she's definitely one to watch. What is it that makes her so dangerous? She keeps them guessing, Cole. She definitely marches to the beat of her own drum, but whatever she's doing seems to be working. I can't say I understand her thought process, but if I'm her, I ain't messing with what's clearly working. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? High angle belly to back suplex. Three. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, man. Five. She'll take things into the ring. Uh. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Ooh, and a 
shot to the body and another. That blow put Bailey's big aspirations on hold for a moment. A ferocious Wendy Chu coming out here. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, the reversal by Chu. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Counter. And now there's an opening. This might be one of the greatest rivalries the WWE Universe has ever witnessed. This has progressed far beyond any animosity we've seen in recent memory. I'm just glad we have the pleasure of being able to call their matches. Caught with a clothesline. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! And she goes for the pin. Here is your winner, Bailey! And Bailey with the win. Wendy Chu learning the hard way. You don't sleep on the job. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE Universe miserable. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo and fire. And Dark. their opponents, the team up. Dawn and Elba Fire! These two women are self proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. Yeah. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas.
The Scottish Sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Frankly, I'm just happy they're not at the commentary table with us tonight. Oh, bite your tongue, Matthew. The duo of Green and Niven has proven to be a wrecking shop here in the women's tag team division. Given the dynamic of the team, Green and Niven are difficult to prepare for. The one thing for sure is they'll have something up their sleeve. And they'll be facing Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. The self-proclaimed unholy union surrounds their opponents like vultures so they can cloak them in sheets of darkness. Their lethal tandem offense leaves victims to wither away for all eternity. Looking into their eyes is like entering the underworld, Corey. It's the dark forces that make Alba Fire and Isla Dawn such feared opponents. No one's safe. Placed into the corner. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, my God. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Big time win in this tag team match. Here are your winners. The team of Piper Niven and Chelsea. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. When a match is decided by countout, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone. The LWO is here, representing the culture, representing a legacy. That's what they're all about. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde. And Cruz Del Toro, the LWO. 
There's a lot of pride that comes with being a member of the LWO. Each and every one of these members are mighty proud of what they're a part of. And that pride translates into their top-level performance in the ring. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. And their opponents, accompanied by Meat Chan, and a combined weight of 500 and five. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. The LWO in action here tonight, a tight-knit crew. This team is honestly more like a family. Each individual success is considered a team success and vice versa. Yeah, there's a lot of pride among the members of the LWO. Just by virtue of being part of this collective, it's really refreshing to see. And as we'll no doubt see tonight, that pride is what drives them. And this should be interesting because the OC is always raring for a fight. Fighting together, traveling together, hitting the pay window together. That's what the OC is all about. And it's just too sweet. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Fighting back by the counter. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. A huge target on the knee after that. Reversal on Wild. Tag switching it up. to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Oh. And that has to knock off. Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. Staying in this one. Point of the elbow finds the mark. And the DDT! Big splash! Right to the back of the neck. And Wild got put on his heels there. Placed in the corner. He's one step ahead there. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. And I guarantee they weren't expecting me on the receiving end of that. A running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Quick. 
Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. They certainly contributed. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, tag made. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh man. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Turning the throat there. Two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Oh, super kick! A big splash! Is it enough? Two! He narrowly avoids the count. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Oh my God. Sent into the corner. You're ready to count, Byron. Here we go. Turning the tables there. Super kick. And Carl must have been thinking more about his check than this match during that one. Such physicality from Joaquin Wilde. Connects. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Close line. So effective. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. And now Anderson is bleeding. <laughs> oh, that'll scratch you up. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. He's been placed in the corner now. We know what's coming next. What more can be done at this point? Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Oh, and into a big boot. And that will bring some frustration to Cruz. Bang! Vicious boot. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Placed in the corner. Fantastic neckbreaker suplex combo. Cover! Two! He kicks out at two. 
I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all. And they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. The D'Angelo family is here in business. Very good. Tony and Stax take what they want. The only problem is they want it all. Their business ventures are booming. The Tony and Stax always want more. Yeah, a pair of multiple-time NXT Tag Team champs 
look ready to unleash a crime wave on all of WWE. Tony D'Angelo and Stax call WWE their turf, and they are ready for a turf war. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds. They are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. And Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. The NXT Tag Team Champions, Tony D'Angelo and Channing Stax Lorenzo, the D. One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to cover by the challenger. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Oh, back elbow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. And he breaks the count quickly. That's still a quick kick out. Of Playing possum. Shoulders down. Shoulders up. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Ooh, targeting the leg there. That stiff drop kick to the champion's knee makes the challenger's focus very clear. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Ah. Uh, Just cranking the head. Now it is a great point for a pin for the championship. Defiant kick out from the champion. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. You never see that coming. Angelo looking powerless to every attack. Tony might be feeling a bit rattled. Big punch finds its mark. Plants him. Oh, using the knee. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Boom. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. About to be the proverbial one legged man in the you know what kicking contest. Just cranking it out. It. Cranking the head. Able to reverse. It's gonna be agonizing for the arm. Balor not exactly looking like the best version of himself after that one. Tag is good. Uh, tag made. Right to the midsection. Working in perfect cohesion. The champions have a strategy in mind. Goes into the pin. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? 
Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being the manager. What a counter by Tony. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. against Finn. He switches it back around. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Now a pin for the championship. Got it. No, just a two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Getting set up for something in the corner. Shoulder tackle. Caving in the abdomen. What a counter. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. Reaches his partner for the tag. Punch lands. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. That is just pure instinct at this point. Down. Glam slam. Free fall. Would you look? Look at this. She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Tag is made, and here we go. Balor with the kick. Balor on the move. Basement drop kick finds the mark. Hooked up and boom. Back drop. Suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. Caught with a jawbreaker. Gets tagged in. Big forearm. Oh, and a big right. Stalking a downed opponent. And a forearm right to the face. Here for a measured fist drop to the face. That shows the wherewithal. As their opponent hooked, couple of jab. He's tagging out. Jeez, D'Angelo is really leaking now. Punishing the leg. What a counter by Tony. Vicious right forearm. Super kick! Nicely countered with a hard hitting DDT. with a punch to the gut. 
Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Man, what a clothesline. Tagged in. From the ring all the way to the floor. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, red right in there. Kick connects with the body. Jeez. And a big knee drop. I think the champ's got it. Oh, no, I thought it was over. Oh, grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Dax gets countered. Caught in a bad position here. to the gut. Damien Priest. Crucifix. Crucifix powerball. The title might change oh. hands. Yes, they did it. New tag team champs. Here are your winners. Finn Balor and Damien Unable to finish the job, the D'Angelo family will go home in defeat. The rampage at the heavy hands of the Judgment Day continues. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT North American Championship. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 200. In five pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Logan Paul. Logan Paul is extremely self-confident with so few matches to his name, but the dude has transformative punching power that can turn anyone's lights out in one shot. There's a palpable energy that races through a capacity crowd when Logan Paul heads into the ring to compete. You can feel it now. And introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the Miz. Well, the one thing we do know about the Miz is that he is living his childhood dream, being a WWE superstar and 
he has redefined what it means to be a WWE superstar. Finally, put a little respect on his name, Saxton. Miz is a reality TV icon, a movie star, Grand Slam champion two times over, WrestleMania headliner. Oh, and he's the it couple with Maurice. Here comes the greatest competitor in Mysterio family history. Are you kidding me, Corey? How many North American titles has Ray won, Cole? And introducing the champion, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Well, plenty of people are jealous of Dom's street cred, but he never lets the naysayers get him down. In fact, it only makes him that much more dangerous. A lot of delusion fueling this young man for sure. It's time to watch the most dangerous dude in WWE do what he does best. Other than disrespect his father? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, Corey. Always a big fight feel when the NXT North American title is being defended. The NXT North American champion is at risk of losing his title in this match under triple threat rules with Logan Paul, The Miz, and Dominic. Mysterio. And remember, the champion doesn't have to be part of the decision to lose the title. And the champ can't be happy knowing that the title could be lost, not due to any fault of their own. And set right into the corner. turns the tables. Byron, a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything. On oh, the leg sweep and, and he breaks the hold. He takes control. Scouted. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out. That's no way to get out of it. Saves at the OEC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. He's tied up. Michinoku driver. The challenger's looking shaken. Yeah, Dominic becoming a true student of the game before our very eyes. seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Oh, come on now. The Miz is being reprehensible. Elbow on the spot. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Shots to the body. Heavy hands. Every ounce of the body is a target. Had Miz's playbook scouted. 
Up and around. Down for the title. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. The challenger eating up some damage. Dominic with plenty of fire behind that attack. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. And Dominic just taunting his opponent. Boom! I don't know what they're looking for here. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. He's landing a big hit with that hammer. He is telegraphing that one. Setting his sights and lining him up. Of the three amigos. German suplex. And he tosses him back in now. Oh man, I can't go shot to the head. That can't feel good. A bad place to be for the challenger. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, not a powerball onto the apron. And gets tossed back into the mat. And Mills just taunting his opponent now. Striking combination. Ooh. And there's a neck breaker. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Big knee to the midsection. Some mental chess here from Mysterio. Stop in the leg. The challenger not looking good right now. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Looking for the victory. Two. And we have a new champion. Unbelievable. Here is your winner. the championship win here. He had the championship mindset going into this match, and now he has the hardware to go along with it. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. The most dominant group in WWE history, the Bloodline.
a group who will do anything to maintain their grip on WWE. And that means constantly obliterating the competition. Well, tonight will be no different. Look, we know every member could be dominant on their own, but they are even stronger together. When the bloodline is on the same page, guys, they are simply unbeatable. Well, they are on the same page, Cole. They've realigned their values, dropped the dead weight, and the bloodline remains stronger than ever. Respect, but rarely give it. <laughs> so that's the thing, Byron. When you're as dominant as the bloodline, it's a fact of life. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. We have seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. You know, guys, as talented as this superstar is, I think ambition might have clouded his judgment. Reigns is in God mode as we speak. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world heavyweight champion and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. 
You win this title, you are primed for big things. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. But he has to acknowledge the man he's in the ring with, Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, the leader of the bloodline. Roman's allowing him to take a trip to the island of relevancy, and we all know that never ends well. Corey, you can acknowledge that Roman is talented without inflating his ego. It's really up to his opponent whether they acknowledge him or not. But I have a strong feeling Roman isn't going to be happy either way. Just going all out with every blow. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this and jackhammer. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and in this business, there's no more desperate a time than when you have to face off against Roman Reigns. Absolutely, Cole, and it's a dangerous strategy, but I think you have to take the risk of goading and taunting Roman Reigns. You have to outsmart him and bait him into failure. Again, a dangerous strategy. He is looking to do some serious harm. Put it in a position now. Right across the larynx. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh, my God, we're going to have a new champion. Wastelock applied, but their opponent, big right hand. Oh my gosh, what impact. And he's able to fight Dragunov off. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, geez, nasty kick to the face. Dragunov looking to attack from above. Oh, diving senton! Bah! That was amazing. Reigns' lack of mercy being met in kind there. Ilya wanted to make an impact on the opposition, and he just did. Reigns gets out of harm's way. And there's the Yuranagi. Landed them. a big hit. Hits him with the counter. Saw that one coming. Oh, and Ilya turns the tables. Just breaking down the opponent. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? <laughs> and continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Dragunov really showing what he's made of here with that power and intensity. Kick to the lower back. Big impact. So much damage inflicted. Knew what was coming there. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. 
He's burying elbows in the midsection. This singles match is over. Here is your winner, and still the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov. The challenger unable to make it back in in time. The rep really had no choice. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, countouts happen. Now this is going to be fun. The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Columbia, South Carolina. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Trick. Williams! Says he has the gift of gab and the gift of jab. Trick Williams possesses undeniable skills on the mic and in the ring. And undeniably full of himself. Are you A-Town down, Corey? All day. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! Already has an ego way beyond his years, and it's getting stronger by the day. Theory is due, but he has the habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And a last man standing match is fairly unique in our business. You cannot win unless your opponent fails to meet the count of 10. What you failed to mention is you can do anything you want in order to stop that from happening. Someone check the back for any tractor trailers. He must have had that scouted. DDT! Oh! Get slammed down. 
of the ring. What's his plan here? And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Full impact. Avoiding contact. And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For anyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. He skirts away, living to fight another day. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you... Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. And we've seen how this rivalry is escalating to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other, no matter the price or consequences. That is what makes this whole situation so scary. And tricks are coming. Ooh, DDT delivered. And a direct attack brought to Trick there. Yeah, as Theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Boom! Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. <laughs> Bam. Down he goes. Shark punch. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Shot right to the gut. Whip back into the ring. And he sends him into the corner. elusive there. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. And again! That is the kind of move that leaves our... Beautiful takedown. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out. and does it. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, but all that matters is being able to stay on your feet. William showing no fear, no intimidation. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. Oh, wow. Oh, the face has been planted. We will go on. Vicious right forearm. Oh, stiff punch. One, two. two. William showing no fear, no intimidation. Five, six, okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. And theory. Oh, the ATL. And Williams is out. One, two count. Three, four, he is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. 
Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. Face first into the chair. Oh, my God. Boom. Every successive move is... Oh, what a knee. Williams might just have it. Rick Williams trying to fire himself up. Look at him now. He realizes he's holding the great equalizer. And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. Here is your winner, Trick Williams. A bitter loss for Austin Theory. Austin Theory forced to take the L tonight. Theory is furious, and rightfully so. This is highly suspect.